Hello everyone, Vanya here, and today we are going to talk about the work pick line overview feature. This is a feature that is currently in public preview and is going to be generally available in one of the upcoming releases. The feature allows an experienced worker in the warehouse to modify the picking route that the system suggested and change the order uh, of picks uh, based on some conditional uh, decisions on the spot. For example, he might have a small pallet or small box that he's carrying right now, so he wants to pick some of the smaller items or some of the more light items first and then uh, press full and deliver those to the uh, destination location before taking a larger pallet or even a forklift to continue the picking route. Uh, alternatively, he just wants to optimize it based on his current location and override basically the suggested uh, system picking route. Again, for, for less experienced workers or temp staff, we recommend that you stick to a system directed menu item where the system will direct the worker exactly uh, on the order of picks. So I have enabled this feature on my environment and I have also created a new mobile device menu item called sales pick line overview. It's use existing work and I've chosen user directed as again the, the worker is the one that's going to be in control. I have also configured the show work line list field which is new and comes with this feature. There are four different options for what can be chosen uh, as the value for this field. They are nicely described in the docs uh, article that we published for this feature. Um, the one that I've chosen for this demo is just to show the pick line overview upon request. Um, the alternatives are that you can show it after every pick automatically or only at the very first pick to just to provide the, the worker with an overview of what um, items are on the work order. And then he can still use the skip tool button, which then replaces the, the standard skip button to navigate the work lines after that. Never show is the default, and that is just to keep the behavior as it is today with just the basic skip button. So I've prepared a work order uh, that you can see here on the screen. It has four or actually five lines, four different items, right? A, A001 is to be picked from two different locations. I have a heavy product here. I have a light product and then some other product, um, various quantities. So this is just a, a standard um, order. What is also important in terms of the configuration for this menu item is to configure the field list, which is the fields that are going to be shown on the card on the mobile device when you uh, perform the this work. I have chosen a couple of the fields here. You can see that it is possible to choose not only fields available on the work line itself, but also display methods by just flipping uh, to the configuration in the dropdown. This is exactly the same as it is on the general work list uh, menu item configuration. So I've chosen to display the item weight as one of the fields on the list. And you can obviously um, choose which order the fields will be in uh, for your particular environment. So with that said, let's jump into the new warehouse management mobile app and navigate to the work list just to get an overview of all the work that we have. Uh, this is the work order that has the multiple work lines that I want to use for this demo. So because I have multiple menu items configured with user directed for executing sales work, I get a an overview like this and I'll choose my um, menu item to execute the work. As you can see, based on my configuration, I've only configured the overview of the work lines to be displayed upon request. So by default, I'm just taken to start executing the first uh, work line. 
I can, however, go and say to skip to and view the different work lines uh, that are available on this work order with the information that I have configured on the menu item. Uh, the numbers here is the line numbers, and then you can see the different fields here, including the weight. So let's say that I want to pick the heaviest item first so that I can put it on the bottom of the palette so it doesn't squish the others. I can use the sorting options, which are available on the uh, mobile device menu item, and say that I would like to sort on weight, and I would like it to be in descending order, right? So the heaviest product to come first. You can see that the weight field has jumped to be at the top of the list for easily spotting, and then it goes down from there to uh, the lowest weight at the very end. So the heavy product, as not surprising, is the one that is the heaviest, and that's the one I want to pick first. Note that weight and product name were actually display methods, but I'm still able to uh, order my uh, lines based on it because the, the sorting is done on the mobile app side and not on the server. And now I can just go in and start picking that line as uh, with any other line. So I can type in my um, license plate, confirm the target license plate that got auto-generated for me, and proceed, right? I'm taken to the next pick line, which is, again, something that I can override if I want, um, order differently if I want, and uh, continue that way. In this case, I'll just cancel out of the flow. But what I could also do, as I described at the beginning, is say full and take just that one item to the destination location, which is Baydor in this case. So the feature is um, quite nice, but again, should be used by workers that actually understand what they are doing and um, yeah, are. Uh, have the permissions basically to override the system behavior. That's it for today. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and what your experience is with this feature. Thank you.